Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, this is a, I suppose you'd call it a shelf queen type video, but it doesn't involve cars, it, inv it involves figures. Um, anyone who's seen my shop card has uh, seen that there's, you know, uh, I do figures, I, I, or I can do figures. Um, there's a troll on there, football. Um, troll throwing a, a, a goblin about and uh, a Dalek and stuff. So basically what I want to do in here is introduce you to some of my figures that have never been uh, shown on my uh, YouTube channel because I've never never actually uh, had the YouTube channel before um, before when I uh, done these guys. So I'll show you my first ever um big scale uh bust figure that was given to me uh never thought i could do figures never had any intention of doing figures but this was given to me by a friend who owned a shop um he wanted it for for his shop window so i thought okay yeah I'll give it a go. Um, it will be whatever it is, you know. I've never done a figure before, so I'm I'm not anticipating anything coming out any any good in it. So this is my first ever figure. And I mean, my first real proper figure. I'm not talking about little one seventy second scale soldiers that you quickly paint up. Or one thirty fifth scale. This is my proper true figure. This is a one ninth ninth one. Yeah, about I think it's about one ninth scale. And this is of the Linden's Productions of a Japanese samurai. Um. All metal. Every single piece on it is metal. All all this braiding, everything is metal. I can testify that this thing weighs at least a kilo. At least a kilo. That's why I'm holding it in two hands. It is it's heavy. It's full metal. If I can quickly turn it over I'll show you what I mean. See? That is lead-based metal there. There's an old kit, 80s, I would say. Um, so this was my first attempt at faces, eyes, eyebrows, you know, skin tones and all that sort of stuff. Um, I had to look up. Uh, sort of Japanese skin tones just to try and get some sort of um, accomplishment on on the face um, face is painted in oils gives you a lot of time to get the tones correct well I say correct for me, they're correct. This is my first, you know, like I said, this is my first impression of, of a face. So this is what I thought it looked like, and I was quite happy with it. Everything else on here is acrylics, which includes all the, all the individual stitches on his helmet. Every single one of those is hand-painted. Top side and underneath on his shoulder pads, both sides, and on this bit on the front, all all hand painted. Each individual stitch. There's got to be close to I don't know five hundred stitches. Blue acrylic. The flowers, 
You see all these flowers on his helmet and his uh, front chest plate. Is it? I hand painted them. No idea how to paint properly, but I gave it my best shot and hand painted all the individual flowers. Getting a bit bashed about now. There's a scratch mark going through the paint there. Yeah, that was my first ever figure. I was very, very pleased with that. That stood in the shop for quite a while. Um, and then it was given back to me. Uh, now part of my collection. So that's my first ever figure. What may surprise you is I enjoyed that. So for my second figure, I've done a one tenth scale World War One British infantry soldier. So this was my second or a come on focus you wanna know you wanna focus there yeah. my second foray into figures yep that is tears coming out of his running down his cheeks he just been through the battle of the Somme and lost all his comrades His face was done in oils. The Enfield rifle on the back here was done, the wood was all done in oils. His shovel was done in uh, guns, uh, metallic colour guns that you can shine up. And then he was just painted with the khaki colours, etc. Bit of dust on his helmet, and uh, chalky, chalky, dirty look put to his uniform. So that was my second bust. If you compare, you know, if you're going to compare the two, face tones on this one are a lot better than they were on that one. My next figure after that, and I'm going to keep him close by, and I'll tell you for why, was this guy. Briggs Marine Officer of Submarine Fleet. So this was in the kit. Again, we got a full beard this time. Never ever painted facial hair other than hair on the head. The eyes are look, looking a hell of a lot better than the others. Very angry looking man. We then get to paint um, the leather wheel skin jacket. And we have his survival best so that was my third painted I haven't really painted many art well I say I haven't really made painted many after that but yeah I've done a few I've still got a few to do now I never ever thought I was capable of painting things like this. For me, these are just, yeah, they're okay. They look all right. Not going to win any awards or anything for these. But just before COVID hit, I was out on the, uh, I don't know, so I wouldn't say it was the competition trails. 
we were at shows with my model club. Um, I was sitting there, these were on the table. One of the other guys said to me, you know, you've got a figure competition in here. Why don't you put those two in and see how you do? <laughs> I'm not going to waste my time. I've seen so many other figures around here. I've seen what? Uh, they're a lot better than what I had. But I had my arm twisted. I entered them. Competition closed. I went back in. Picked my models up and brought them back to the table. Just before we left, the results were given out. Third place, some other guy with a very, very nice model. I actually voted for that model. In second place, My Creek's Marine Guy. This is an IPMS show, by the way. In first place, my British Tommy. I never ever think those guys that are very concerned about doing any figures. Of any sort, you know, you don't have to enter them into competitions or anything like that. But never feel that what you do is not good enough. I would never have entered these into a competition if that, if if it had been off of my own back. I was pushed into entering these, and that's the result. One gold coin. One silver coin. They entered one other competition and got the same result again later on that year. So <clears throat> that goes with your other kits, gents and girl, guys and girls. You know, you do motorbikes, do ships, do cars, do trucks, do sci-fi. Never feel that you're not good enough with what you build because someone out there especially if you enter them into a competition is going to like what you're doing so there you go there's my three there's my three best well I consider them three of my best figures oh, I've got some better ones than these thanks for watching thanks for sticking through this I know 13 minutes is quite long it's worth the journey, I think. I appreciate my supporters. I appreciate all you subscribers. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye for now.